Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. This is pretty good stuff. Now, some of you may be thinking, wait, I didn't know Mark drank coffee. Yeah, I don't really like coffee. You might be thinking, I didn't know Mark drank tea. I'll drink some tea. I like some tea, but this little puppy is not tea. You know what this is? This is hot cocoa. And it's really, really good. Wow. Now, it's not the first thing I had today. I mean, I started out the day with some Diet Dr. Pepper. But man cannot live by Diet Dr. Pepper alone. Hence, hot cocoa. Now, what does this have to do with my video thought for the day? Well, this week in the video thoughts, I'm going to look at some passages that use metaphors and analogies with animals in the Bible. And one of my favorites is found in the Psalms, that the Psalm 42. Psalm 42 says, as a deer pants for streams of water. It's just so thirsty. As a deer is so thirsty for streams of water, so my soul, my being, my essence, thirsts for God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God, the psalmist says. When can I go and meet with my God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me, hey, where's your God? And this is a psalm that paints a picture with a metaphor of what it's like to feel like you've been abandoned by God, where your feelings just don't sense God there. You know, some days our feelings for God are so vibrant and real, and it's, it's like we could touch him. And some days, it feels like our prayers are bouncing off the ceiling. It feels like we're on our own. And the remarkable thing that Scripture teaches is that God is there both situations. God is always there. And the idea that our soul would thirst for God is that drive and need to have his very real presence. But sometimes that presence is understood, not simply by the sun being out and the wind being behind you as you sail merrily down life's way. Sometimes the sea, seas are stormy. Sometimes life is a chore. Sometimes you feel like you're in a play uh, that's from the theater of the absurd, if you remember back in the 1950s when European and some American playwrights were writing these, these plays based upon the idea that, that life is fruitless. There's no purpose. It's pointless. It's an absurd life. Maybe you feel that way sometimes. It doesn't matter as much how you're feeling as much as where your confidence is lying. Because regardless of how you feel, God is there. He wants you to thirst for him. He wants you to seek him, knowing that he can be your satisfaction. Sometimes that's simply done by taking measured steps of faith and trust and obedience. Think about this as we go through animals this week, because I made this your video thought for today.